One of the candidates to become Toronto's next mayor finds himself in some hot water tonight. The city's integrity commissioner says Councillor Josh Matlow should be docked 10 days of pay for breaking council's code of conduct. To lose two weeks of pay, I think for most anybody is is difficult. You know, I think my daughter will be delighted that we're going to be eating craft dinner for the next couple of weeks. But, you know, in reality, of course, that's difficult. The controversy stems from two tweets sent by Matt Lowe in 2022. Both were critical of city staff. The first tweet dates back to June 16th in response to the Parks Department's claim that all washrooms and water fountains were open on time. Matt Lowe wrote, quote, I don't appreciate being lied to nor should you. All park bathrooms were not opened by May 24th this year. That's unquestionably untrue, end quote. We were suggesting that everything was fine. Water fountains were fine, park bathrooms were fine. I knew that wasn't true, and I saw what was happening and I called it out. A second complaint was filed by then interim city manager Tracy Cook shortly after she was appointed. Matt Lowe, the only councillor to vote against the appointment, tweeted, quote, I believe the mayor and council chose the wrong person to serve our city as acting city manager, end quote. The message goes on to criticize Cook for her alleged role in encampment clearings and accuses her of withholding information about former mayor John Tory's smart track plan. Most city staff are exemplary and I have a lot of respect for them. But there are times when uh, when that line is blurred. While Integrity Commissioner Jonathan Batty did clear Matlow of some allegations, he did conclude that the two tweets, along with a comment made by Matlow during a committee meeting, ultimately harmed the reputation of city staff. Back in 2018, Matlow received a simple reprimand for similar violations. This time around, Batty is recommending the Toronto St. Paul's councillor be docked 10 days pay. City councillors will ultimately decide whether to follow through with the recommendation during a meeting next week. What that decision could mean for Matt Lowe's mayoral aspirations remains to be seen. I recognize that there are consequences when you say things out loud in a political environment that you're not supposed to. Um, but I also, I just don't believe we're ever going to fix things at City Hall unless we address the problems. Mark McAllister, City News.